One important class of functions to discuss in this class, we're going to be looking at these a lot over the course of the semester, are the exponential functions. And closely associated to the exponential functions are the logarithmic functions. So what are exponential functions? Well, we know how to do exponents. You know, we know, for example, that uh, 3 to the 4th is you multiply 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. And the thing with exponential function is that we're going to turn this into a function by replacing the exponent here, 4, with a variable. Let's use x. So an example of an exponential function, f of x would be 3 to the x. And so then we can say by this calculation right here, f of 4 is equal to 3 to the 4th is 81. And so um, this all makes sense if we are plugging in, uh, we we're plugging in integers for x. If we were to do f of 1 half, this would be 3 to the 1 half, this would be the square root of 3, this works. And you can fill things in. I won't go into details about how to do this. You can fill things in. Even x is an irrational number. So for, for everything that we're going to be doing here, we're going to be thinking about, let's choose, let's do this more generally, not just with base b, sorry, base 3 here, but let's think about base b. b is going to be the base. In this case, uh, b was 3. And we want to choose b uh, so that b needs to be positive. Uh, it, 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 we will run into issues if b is negative. So we want to choose b to be positive. And we also want to choose b to not equal 1. If b were equal to 1, we'd have 1 to the x. Well, 1 to any power is just going to be 1. We don't want that. So our general exponential function f of x is going to be b to the x. Uh, let, let's do some properties here. Again, with f of x is b to the x, assuming b is positive, not equal to 1. The domain, the domain of, 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 our, uh, of our exponential function is all real numbers. So x, you know, all x between negative infinity and positive infinity, all real numbers. This is because we're allowed to plug in any number that we want to. b to the x is going to be defined for all real numbers. Um, the range here, so b to the x is always going to be positive. So because again, we're assuming that b itself is positive, so raising a positive number to any power is still going to be leave you something positive. So the range is actually going to be, you know, y has to be strictly bigger than zero, strictly positive, less than infinity. If you want to write these last couple of answers in interval notation, this would be negative infinity to infinity this would be 0 to infinity. Okay, b to the 0, take any number, raise it to the 0th power, you get 1. And when I say any, any number, let's assume it's a positive number, like here, like we're assuming. So b to the 0 is 1, so f of 0 is 1. And now we have to break it down to, we're going to break this down into two cases, if b is bigger than 1, and b is less than 1, but still positive. B if, b, if b is bigger than 1, f is an increasing function. So that would mean if x is less than y, f of x is less than f of y. And, and, and this makes sense, right? Um, if we were to use uh, uh, b, b is 3, so 3 squared is less than 3 to the 4th. So the b here is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the 4th is 81. 4 is bigger than 2. 3 to the 4th is bigger than 3 squared. However, 
if b is less than one but still positive, f is actually a decreasing function. So if x is less than y, f of x is bigger than f of y. And so uh, let's just see why, why, why this is true. Um, let's, let's take b to be 1 half, x to be 2, y to be 3. So this would be 1 half uh, squared is bigger than 1 half cubed because this is 1 quarter and this is 1 eighth and 1 quarter is bigger than 1 eighth. So exponential functions are either increasing, always increasing or always decreasing. The choice between the two depends on is B positive, or sorry, is B bigger than one or is B less than one but still positive. Uh, so so, so given, given what's going on here, um, let me draw a graph let me draw actually two graphs here. So I'm going to draw the graph of the exponential function, you know, f of, so f of x is going to be b of x. I'm going to draw one picture if b is greater than one. I'm going to draw a second picture if b is, uh, if b is strictly uh, bigger than zero, but, but less than one. And in both of the cases, b to the zero is equal to one, no matter what, which of these cases here. So here is one, here is one. In both of these cases, I'm, I'm putting a mark there. The y-intercept is going to be one. In the case that b is bigger than one, in the case that b is bigger than one, it's an increasing function. So I need to draw it's an increasing function. And this is going off, as, as we go off in this direction, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the axis here. We're never going below the axis because from this line here, we know that bx is never going to be negative, so we'll never end up below the axis, we'll always be above the axis. But we pick up all values that are strictly bigger than zero. So we are going to get very, 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 very close to the axis, arbitrarily close. Now in the second case, if B is uh, uh, bigger than zero but less than one, it's a decreasing function. So it's going to look like this. where that goes off, gets very, very high, just like this gets very, very high. So this is always increasing, this is always decreasing. Once again, this is going to get very, very close, arbitrarily close to the axis as you go on. Okay, so um, this is, you know, th these are pictures. You should be able to know what these exponential functions look like. And we will wrap up this video with the most important exponential function in this class. The natural exponential function, f of x is e to the x. Um, it is, is uh, chosen so that e, you know, f of x is e to the x, where the base e is 2.71828 dot dot dot. You know, that there's a decimal here that goes on forever. I'm not going to you know, give you more digits here. And this, this one, um, this one uh, has a very important uh, property to it. Um, that, you know, you might wonder why, you might wonder why we are, you know, this seems like a very randomly concocted base here. But there's one important reason I, I mean actually there's there's many important reasons but I'll just give one choice here so let me once again uh, draw here you know we know once again this is one 
at, z at uh, e to the zero is equal to one here. This number e is chosen in the following way, that in future sections, we're going to discuss the idea of tangent lines. And I, let me just draw here, I think you can kind of tell what I'm doing here, drawing a tangent line uh, to our graph at the point zero comma one. And so this tangent line to e to the x has slope equal to one. And this is the only exponential function whose slope of the tangent line when x is equal to zero is equal to one. So this fact, this, this, this fact, among other facts, it gives us some reason to think that this is a special number and we'll do a lot more, we'll, 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 we'll use that a lot more in the future. This is, you know, one of the most important functions we'll be dealing with all semester long. You know, after we do polynomials and rational functions and stuff like that, there's trig functions and then the exponential function, the logarithmic functions that we'll talk about later on. These are the most important functions for us.